Hello, I'm Professor Sean Harding. The National Heart and Lung Institute is the main centre for cardiovascular research at Imperial College. And here we go from fundamental investigations on the mechanisms of biology of cardiac and vascular disease, through genetics of cardiovascular disease, to new cell and th gene therapies, and finally to high quality clinical trials at the International Centre for Circulatory Health. These are the laboratories of the Imperial Centre for Translational and Experimental Medicine, where the NHLI is based in Hammersmith. Here we look at fundamental biology, uh, the biology of heart disease, looking at human tissue, uh, the vascular and cardiac function of tissue from diseased human hearts. We look at uh, stem cell biology, the endogenous stem cells of the heart. We look at the induced pluripotent cells and whether they can produce large quantities of cardiac tissue for cardiac repair. We host two centres. One is the British Heart Foundation Centre of Excellence, which has been, uh, for four years now, has been bringing the um, basic of physical sciences and mathematical sciences to bear on cardiovascular disease. And now the new British Heart Foundation Cardiovascular Centre of Regenerative Medicine, which is focusing on the endogenous and exogenous stem cells for cardiac repair. One of the most interesting things we've done is to look at the hearts of uh, failing uh, patients to identify a, a problem and now to move to a gene therapy trial to try and uh, alleviate that problem. Here at Imperial College we've been studying the fundamental mechanisms of why the heart muscle weakens in our patients with heart failure. And we've identified a critical pathway where a gene is turned down and this circa gene is very important for normal healthy heart function and we've studied the ability to deliver a new copy of the gene with gene therapy technologies and this really rescues and repairs the heart muscle in our laboratory studies. Excitingly we've translated these findings to our patients and we're involved in an international trial to study the benefits of this new gene therapy and for the first time patients in the UK are being enrolled into the trial hosted at the Royal Brompton Hospital in our NIHR Cardiovascular Biomedical Research Unit to determine if it's safe and effective. The British Heart Foundation have funded a second gene therapy trial where we're going to study the effects of the delivering the gene therapy on the heart tissue itself by taking biopsies of patients' hearts after they've received it, really to see does it do what it says on the tin and repair and deliver the gene therapy. I'm Dudley Pennell, Director of the NIHR Cardiovascular BRU at the Royal Brompton Hospital and Imperial College London. Our job is to take all the exciting advances that are going on in college and translate them into benefit for patients with heart disease within five years. We've been using gene therapy in patients with problematic heart failure to see if we can improve their quality of life. We've been diagnosing with new next generation uh, diagnostic genetics uh, problems in families with inherited cardiac disease and we've been using advanced magnetic resonance to dissect out problems of structure in the heart in patients with inherited cardiomyopathy. These are just three examples of the great work that's going on and there's a lot more in the pipeline. Here in the Biomedical Research Unit we work in partnership with our patients coming through the Royal Brompton Hospital who are undergoing high resolution cardiac magnetic resonance imaging scans of their heart and circulation. What we're particularly interested in right now is a disease called dilated cardiomyopathy which is a condition where the heart becomes big and baggy and can't pump properly and this runs in families. Through funding from the NHR, from the MRC, the Wellcome Trust and from the BHF we are able to access the highest resolution technologies for genome sequencing and able to link the imaging from our patients with their genetics to find new ways to diagnose, treat and prevent heart disease in our patients. So Imperial College is a fantastic place to come and do cardiovascular research. We have cutting edge technologies, we have this excellent new facility at the Imperial Centre for Translational and Experimental Medicine which is a brand new building 
and we have a great mixture of scientists and academic clinicians, which really means we do move from bench to bedside.